what's going on. So here's a set of pistons. This is the bad one. This one has the hole in it. It's all mangled. This is the good one that I picked up. Got this on eBay. I think I paid like $30 for it. Um, so I'm gonna take the rings off of this one, put it on here, maybe clean the rings up a little bit, and throw this turd back in there. Also, today, I got some head. I got this guy in the mail today, and I said I had a story about it. So, this thing is really nice looking. It's a lot better than uh, the one I had in there. I think it's going to make the driver's side a little jealous, actually. So, the story behind that, if you look back uh, a few videos, I don't remember exactly which video it was, there was a guy named John B., the user, YouTube user John B., um, said, hey man, just so you know, I got some bunch of LQ4 parts, let me know if you need anything. So I asked him the question, you got a cheap 317 head? He's like, yeah, sure. I'm like, oh, that's really cool. So now I know somebody that has one and they'd be willing to sell it. Um, but the, the strange part, the cool part, he said he'd be willing to donate it to me for the cause. So that just blew my mind. So I contacted him and we started personal messaging back and forth. And uh, sure enough, he did exactly that. He donated the head to me, basically gave it to me for free. All I had to do was pay shipping. So how awesome is that? So the shipping ended up coming to like $36 or something like that, really cheap, so it really was a great deal for this. And he also sent me and he also sent me a set of brand new valve stem seals, exhaust and intake valve seals. So I don't think I could have got a better deal than that. So I'm going to get going on this thing, probably put the new valve stem seals in and give a huge shout out to John B. And the user, John, he said he's also doing a uh, Ranger swap, an LS Ranger swap right now he's actually working on it but he's not making videos so I'd like to try to encourage him to make some videos so maybe I could tell everybody to go subscribe to his channel John B I'll put a link in the description and he doesn't have any videos up but he sent me some pictures of the swap and it looks pretty cool so we should all go over there and subscribe to the channel maybe he'll start making some videos and we can see another cool ranger swap so I'm gonna get going on this thing thank you John for the head and uh, I really honestly don't know what to say it's a Pretty cool thing, and I really appreciate it a lot. So thank you very much. All right, so I'm gonna start doing these valves. Um, already did this one. So I got the valve spring compressor on it. This is kind of a I don't know jack in the box tool. If you don't really have it set up right, it'll pop off. But it's just kind of like a a puller, basically, to compress the spring. I usually like to hold t these together here so it'll s stay in at the bottom of the spring otherwise it'll pop out there's not really much on there that's grabbing the spring so you usually hold it at the bottom until it's got a decent grip on it now you can see the spring is compressed Valve is pressed up. I can take these little retaining clips out. Probably be easier to do with a magnet. Now this will just come off. I'll set this to the side. Valve stem seal just comes out. It's a little cruddy and dirty. So I'm not really too concerned about replacing them. Because they're a little nasty underneath. This one is not so bad. Set a little bit of oil on it. And that other side's really gonna be jealous. This one's getting all the love. I think what I'm going to do is should pop the valve out. Look at the valve. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. I'll do the old rub it on the shirt method and see, see how that goes. Call it good. 
I should actually lap relap these valves, but we'll call it good. All right. So this is a intake valve. Intake. The bag is actually labeled intake and exhaust. That's an intake valve, that's an exhaust valve. The exhaust valve is red. So, throw the new one over the top. Some are harder to get on than others. Give it a little tap. Should be good. Oi. Well, you guys wanted to go for a ride, so. You're welcome. Stick the shaft back in the hole. Let's throw this back over the top. Little clippy dippies. Line them up mostly where they go. I'll actually pull it tight. off and that one's done. So now the valve stem seals are replaced. I'll go through and do the rest of them. And then pop this bitch in. Alright, so here we have a piston ring. This was on the old one. This is the compression ring on the top. Here we have the oil ring and the bottom ring. And then we have this one. And this is not supposed to be in two pieces, so that's bad news. As you can see, right where that bolt hit, this ringland is smashed and bent. This one's bent. So these rings were actually pinched inside here, and when I tried taking them out, the top one came out, but the middle one was stuck, and then it just snapped when I was trying to get it out. So that's unfortunate. Um, I looked all around trying to find... Uh, different set. I went to O'Reilly's. They want like $125 for a set of piston rings. Um, AutoZone wanted $135 for the same set. The same person that sent me this head is now going to be sending me a, a set of rings. So that's cool. Thanks again, John. Uh, that'll be, uh, that'll help me greatly and really save me a whole bunch of money because the cheapest set, set that I could find for a set of rings was like 50 some dollars on eBay. And it was a complete set. And I don't need a complete set. I just need one ring. So that'll help me out. Thanks again. All right, so I think I'm going to wrap this video up. Uh, I did want to get a little bit farther than I did today, but I had the mishap with the, the, the ring. So it's like about two hours later because I was like going around to the different stores trying to find a ring. So that's going to be awesome, but it's going to take a couple days. So um, as far as getting the piston back in and getting the head on, that is not going to happen today, but I am going to start to work on the driver's side exhaust and get that all done. I got the header back out, trimmed up the exhaust a little bit already, so I'm going to cut this one, start making a different video on the exhaust system, and hopefully everything will be set up by the time that stuff gets done. I'll be able to just whip it all together. I might even be able to uh, bolt the head on as a reference for the exhaust and completely finish the passenger side and driver's side exhaust. So when I get everything together, or when I get the rings back in, I'll be able to throw it back together and put the exhaust on and everything will be done. And then I can go drive the shit out of this thing and break some more stuff. Thanks for watching.
Check out some of these other videos. See you next time.